I'm just going to get into this time lapse footage uh, from the Arctic Ocean back in 2015. And so this area is going to be referred to as the marginal ice zone. And you can imagine why it might be called that is because you're kind of at the interface uh, between open ocean water and then frozen uh, pack ice, uh, the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean. And so this is getting further into the ice. You can see that the ship has stopped and you have all these little melt ponds on the, um, on the surface of the sea ice. You also have a little ridge there in front. And so what I believe the bridge of the ship is doing at this point is they're checking the radar to make sure uh, they're navigating through the thinnest parts of the ice. They want to find an open lead uh, to navigate through that rather than have to cut through uh, a bunch of thick sea ice. And so here they found a lead and they're going through that thinner ice and navigating into this open water here. And so uh, this uh, part of the Arctic, or at least you know, getting into the ice, I remember back in 2015, uh, standing on the deck of the ship, looking out and just admiring all of this beautiful ice that was out there. And, uh, and so, yes, I remember uh, chatting uh, with uh, an older scientist, a senior scientist, um, an old timer, if you will, uh, who had been up to the Arctic many times uh, on that trip in 2015. It was actually his third visit to the North Pole. And uh, in chatting with him, I was just going on about how beautiful the ice was. And, you know, he just kind of, you know, smiled, nodded, uh, and said, you know, yeah, well, it's, it's beautiful, but it's not like it used to be. He had been up in 1994, 2005, and then again in uh, 2015 uh, when I was up there. And he just said, you know, it's, it's changed so much. The ice is not nearly as thick as it used to be. And, uh, you know, that was just kind of a, uh, brought me down a little bit. I just thought this, this ice was so beautiful uh, to be in this ocean of ice. But then when I went back to the Arctic in 2018, uh, on a not necessarily similar voyage, but we ended up going to the pole or nearly to the pole. And that is actually um, an interesting point with that expedition. Uh, because when we went in 2015, we were able to navigate all the way to the North Pole, 90 degrees, 90.0 degrees north. Uh, and so that was a pretty fascinating experience. But in 2018, uh, we actually had a fair amount of trouble making our way that far north. And the reason for that uh, was because the ice was so thick. And we actually stopped, uh, I believe it was maybe three miles or a, f a 5K, something like that, five kilometers from the North Pole. And, and we ended up stopping there. That was the farthest north that the ship got on that expedition. And, you know, I was a little disappointed by that because I remember getting to the North Pole and watching uh, the uh, GPS uh, change. You know, we're at the North Pole, 90 degrees north, and it's fixed at 90.0. But then the longitude is just spinning around like we're spinning around the world because you're at this one finite point. It's kind of like this uh, point that exists but doesn't really exist. Everything converges there, all of the lines of longitude. And so I was a little bit disappointed in 2018 because we didn't get to experience that again. But I think that's kind of a nice reminder of, you know, while we can think about the Arctic and, and the decrease in sea ice over time, uh, it's not um, a simple regression, a simple line relative to time that the ice is decreasing over time. It's actually very dynamic. Uh, so we might have some years uh, where the ice extent is the lowest it's ever been. Uh, but then years after that, we might actually get uh, some thicker ice. But yeah, I, I just think that it's really important to keep in mind that uh, these systems, the climate system, the environment, is it's not so simple that we can just take one time point and compare it with another and say, oh yeah, uh, it's decreased, or oh yes, it's increased. Uh, we really have to kind of observe the entire system uh, and to get a bigger, broader overview uh, to really be able to tell uh, whether or not something's increased or decreased. Hopefully it's fun, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe, watch the videos. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I am going to sign off. All right, take care and good night.